what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm getting some much needed cleaning done around my apartment i was traveling for the past two weeks for work so i literally fell so behind on household chores like cleaning laundry you name it it literally did not get done so i'm starting off by throwing in a load of laundry because for me it's always easier to get that going while i tackle everything else on my to-do list so today's video is filled with tons of cleaning motivation for you guys so i hope you enjoy The front entryway is always a dumping ground. I feel as if it's so easy to literally just place bags down as soon as I get into the door, but I'm trying to do better. So I'm going through everything and putting them back in its rightful place. Now that we got all of that cleaned up, I wanted to show you guys our new wreath that we kind of made. We like makeshifted it. It's really cute. I just need to figure out how we can hang it up on the wall. And then also this week, um, Riley is gonna have spring break. So she's gonna be home with me. And I am t um, like taking some days off, but I'm also working Monday through Wednesday. So I'm trying to figure out certain crafts and activities that I can do with her while I'm trying to also get work done. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I picked up. Let me show you guys our like spring wreath that we made as well as an activity I have for her this week. So this is a close-up of the wreath. So I got this cute little basket from Michael's. It was on sale for $14. And then I literally just used some of the extra flowers that we had from the vase in the hallway when I did the spring decorate with me. And then I also just reused some of the old flowers that I had in the green vase as well. Um, and then we got some more like just like filler flowers. So really, really cute. I'm just trying to figure out how this can hang on the door and hang, like have it hang flush. I was thinking, you know, maybe, I think as long as I have this part up here, but I might need to glue it because I don't want it to um, fall off but we'll see I'll probably just do a hook on top of the door and let that hang there and then I have these fake 
eggs. I can't remember exactly where I got them from. Either Target, um, definitely not the Dollar Tree because it says $5.99 or maybe Michael's. I can't really remember, but um, I figured she would have fun decorating them. Easter is coming up, so this is the perfect time to give her some like arts and crafts while I have a call. I can sit with her, but you know, she's occupied, you know, doing some arts and crafts. So she's really excited about this. We also got two dyeing kits, like egg dyeing kits from Target. So I figured we can do that or if she wants to draw on them, whatever she really wants to do. So these are definitely going to be one of the activities that I'm going to rely on at least the first three days while I'm working and she is on spring break. Finishing off in the living room, I'm picking everything up off the floor as well as the TV console, wiping that down, and then I'm going to finish off by vacuuming the floor as well as the ottoman. By this time the laundry had finished so I'm going to switch that out which is perfect because on a weekly basis I like to make sure that all of our towels are washed and clean so I'm going to take those out of the bathroom throw those into the wash and then I'm going to head over to the dining area to finish cleaning up. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection, lights a spark It's like you know me in the depths of my heart We're dreamers With Riley in school, she gets so many papers and they're doing so many different crafts. And as much as I would love to hold on to every single one of them, I literally just cannot. And I am typically the type of person who doesn't like to hold on to like random stuff, but I do want to be able to look back at this and just show her her arts and crafts from when she was in kindergarten. What's your week? 
weakness, what's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. So I mentioned to you guys that we were going to be making a spring craft and we made this adorable bird feeder Riley painted and adding all added all of the colors onto it really really cute we got the dowel from Hobby Lobby so the only thing left thing we have to do now is just get some bird feeder to put at the bottom and then I need to just add the string at the top so we can hang it out on our front porch but Hopefully we'll get to that this week um, during spring break. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. Heading back into Riley's room, honestly, there really wasn't too much stuff that needed to get done. I just needed to remake her bed and she has been doing so good with making her bed. I definitely need to get some type of like chore chart going so I can keep track of everything and you know, reward her for doing her chores. So I really need to get on that and get some type of system in place and then the only thing left to do was really to vacuum and then also I'm going to be vacuuming her ottoman as well because this is where you know she'll leave little treats or snacks from like when we're you know going to bed at night for some reason this girl always needs a snack when we are reading stories and I have a feeling that it's not just her I have a feeling it is a lot of toddlers
It's the next day and I'm starting off in my bedroom and trying to declutter, get everything cleaned up. I already threw my sheets into the wash to get those going and I'm starting off with my dresser, cleaning off the top and then I'm going to organize the dressers just a bit but nothing too crazy. I do need to figure out a time when I can dedicate to literally decluttering, organizing everything, pulling out all of our summer clothes so I'm hoping I'll be able to get that done this weekend. I don't really clean up my desk area too much just because I'm so busy with work and by the end of the day the last thing I want to do is just like tidy up this space but there were some papers that needed to be shredded so I wanted to tackle that right there and then the next thing I literally needed to do was just clean off the desk make it look pretty again get everything all neat and organized and then I'm gonna head over into the kitchen and get that cleaned up while I wait for my sheets to dry.
There wasn't too much stuff that needed to be done in the kitchen, just unloading the dishwasher to load it right back up. Honestly, I barely hand wash dishes anymore. I only like to do it when it's something that cannot go into the dishwasher. So I'm gonna load that up and then get that running once all of the laundry is finished because I cannot um, run both of them at the same time. And then I'm just going to wipe down the countertops and then also clean the stove. Nobody 
of the traveling kind It's a known fact Yeah, I know that So I'm almost finished with everything on my to-do list. The only thing left that needs to get done was to put all of my bedding back on to the bed. I love having freshly washed sheets and this time I did also wash the mattress protector as well. So I'm putting all of that back on and then I'm going to vacuum the floor. And guys, I was so exhausted at this point. I felt like I was just cleaning nonstop for the past couple of days. So I was just really looking forward to curling up on the couch, watching a show, and just relaxing. But the figure is not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. 